2024 lead, former President Trump has made a slew of endorsements in key battleground races as we head into November. And the candidates he chooses to do those endorsements for may not be the only ones profiting off that support. Now, according to a new CNN analysis of campaign finance data, some of those campaigns and Trump's own campaign have together spent tens of millions of dollars at Trump's businesses. Here's Kenny Long. My new book, Save America, published by Winning Team Publishing, is now available for order. In all the ways you already know former President Trump publicly makes money, selling books and Bibles. God bless the USA Bible. Gold sneakers. That's the real deal. And trading cards. It's called the America First Collection. It's at Trump properties like Mar-a-Lago, Trump's opulent Florida home, where Republican campaign dollars are pouring into Trump's own pocket. More than 150 congressional candidates and political groups have spent millions at Trump properties and associated businesses, according to a CNN analysis of federal campaign finance data. With 2024 on track to be the biggest year of spending since 2016, the vast majority of the candidates are Republican and most endorsed by Trump. A vote for Trump and Marino is a vote to put America first. A clear example is Ohio businessman Bernie Marino, a political novice who made his fortune selling luxury cars. The same month Marino announced his run for the U.S. Senate last year, he spent $13,000 on event catering at Trump's Mar-a-Lago. The same day one of the payments was made, Trump posted on Truth Social, Marino is a highly respected businessman who was thinking of running for the Senate. Trump endorsed Marino months later, calling him a MAGA fighter. Two days after the endorsement, Marino spent $17,000 at Mar-a-Lago, and a month later, $80,000 more on a fundraiser at the private club attended by some in Trump's inner circle. We asked him to come here to Florida so we could bring him here to the president's home, so we could share him with you. Marino is now locked in a competitive battle for Ohio's Senate seat with Trump by his side. He's a hero. He's a winner. That coincidence of this significant spending nearly coinciding with a Trump endorsement doesn't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that there's been a bribe. That pattern does and should raise questions in the minds of voters about What's really going on here? The incredible Carrie Lake. I will do everything in my power to make sure this man gets back in the White House. We need him now more than ever. Another Republican endorsed by Trump is also one of Mar-a-Lago's top political spenders. This year alone, Arizona Senate candidate Carrie Lake's campaign spent more than $100,000 on lodging, catering, and facility rentals. Other top spenders at Trump properties include retired football star and former Georgia Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker. His campaign spent the most of any congressional candidate in the last decade, nearly $215,000 at Mar-a-Lago, Trump's golf club in West Palm Beach, and his Las Vegas hotel. You know, Herschel is not only a Georgia hero, he is an American legend. Trump endorsed Walker, who would go on to lose his race. Political groups also drop big money at Trump's businesses, the RNC spending more than $2 million since 2016. But at the top spot by far is Donald Trump himself, whose campaigns and associated political committees have funneled more than $28 million in political contributions to his businesses, from renting his ballroom to his campaign, to using election donations to pay for his private jet, Trump Force One. Trump the candidate has been paying Trump the businessman. It's not illegal. The law is that um, candidates can spend money at their own businesses, provided that the businesses provide real goods or services at a fair market rate. But it certainly raises at least an appearance of self-dealing that is very concerning um, from a corruption standpoint. In a statement, the Trump campaign told CNN, these allegations are false, adding, committees are paying the fair market rate for all venues and services. Now, spokespeople for Bernie Moreno, as well as Herschel Walker, tell CNN that their Mar-a-Lago fundraisers were wildly successful. And Walker's spokesperson added that he has known 
uh, Walker, that is, has known Trump for 40 years, and the endorsement had nothing to do with Walker's events. We also did reach out to Kerry Lake's campaign. We did not hear back. And something important to underscore, Phil, is that despite the criticism you did hear in our story, none of this is illegal. Phil? Yeah, important point. Kyung-La, great work by you and the team, as always. Thanks so much. You bet. Well, this week, we heard...